Okay, so way back in um, 2012, um, a report was done by the Royal Society of London looking at the existing um, ICT curriculum. Um, what they found was that although they, there was allowances for computer science with ICT, many um, pupils weren't very inspired by it and a lot of pupils didn't go past basic literacy skills, how to use Word and how to basic IT skills. Um, so they came up with this formula to um, kind of scrap the terminology of ICT and move towards this kind of three area approach, a bit like science might have um, biology, chemistry or English might have digi um, English Lit and English Language. So we're moving towards digital literacy, information technology and computer science um, to kind of split computing ICT into um, areas of interest. Okay, so what do these areas actually mean? So these are kind of some basic um, definitions of the area. So your digital literacy is your basic ability use a, to use a computer. Um, if I go on to the next slide, it shows in a bit more detail. So the basic ability to use a computer, your kind of your basic office oh, applications, your ability to write an email, um, use the internet, um, do an appropriate search. Um, they um, the analogies they use is um, to be able to spell, to write, to use basic math. These are things that you use across the curriculum, not just in English and maths. They're basic fundamental skills. Um, so that's what they meant by digital literacy. Um, information technology, they looked at as more of a using existing um, systems, existing software to meet users' needs. Um, very much um, creating artifacts from software that exists. And then computer science very much using um, programming, algorithm, systems architecture to create applications. Um, alongside this um, they highlighted um, methods or ways of thinking, what we generally refer to as computational thinking techniques. Okay. So I'm going to add them to my bubbles. So we're starting to get a, a bit more of an idea of what they wanted the computer science curriculum to look at. So at the moment, these three bubbles contain information from the shutdown restart um, report. So let's see what actually happened when they started to bring in um, what was actually put in place with the computing program of study. Okay, so these are the aims. What I've tried to do is overlay the aims in the area um, that it kind of corresponds to. So if you look, the computer science aims, um, fundamental principles of computer science, you've got your comp computational thinking there, um, experience uh, problems, write um, programs. Over here in information technology, you know, we've got the ability to evaluate what um, technologies are available and how to use those technologies to solve problems um, and the kind of digital responsibility elements as well so um, how to how to go online how to be confident in using technology and how to select the right um, software for what you need um, interestingly, I couldn't find an aim that kind of um, went in line with the digital literacy um, aspect. The only reference I could really find in the com computing program of study was in the purpose of study, um, where it referenced digitally, pupils need to become digitally literate, which they sum up as being able to use and express themselves, develop their ideas, through information, community, technology. And that's really all it says about digital literacy. Okay, so there we go. I've added that to our bubbles, which are getting quite full of information. Um, so what is the actual content that the um, national curriculum wants us to learn? So I dug out, um, this is for Key Stage 3, 
um, as I am studying um, secondary computers, computing, um, as we can see, it's quite heavy on the computer science side. A lot of um, computational thinking, algorithms, programming, Boolean, um, hardware and software components. Um, it's quite heavy on that side. Um, only three sort of points towards information technology about being creative projects, about creating artifacts, um, and again this kind of aspect of using technology safely so it's that kind of digital citizenship idea in there as well okay so let's add that to our sheet it now looks really busy um, but this is all the information I could find on both the um, inspiration behind the new curriculum and then what's actually in the new curriculum as well so what I've done I mean if you want to you can pause the video here have a good read through kind of get your head around everything but I have simplified it out so here we have our three areas and what's included in these three areas based on um, the shutdown restart report and the actual computing curriculum